I'm a bit stuffy roughs today. Hello, can you hear me? Through my sinuses. I can't. Uh, hi. Uh, hello everyone. How's it going? Uh, I'm not a well man. But I'm I'm feeling good because I'm feeling good. Because uh, it's a good game. This today, what we gonna be doing? Done playing. I'm excited. Who's here? Stephen Scodes, Imperian Seven, uh, Louis J Weber. Hello, I've missed you all. That includes you, Team Triple Jump. Well, thank you. We've missed you too. Uh, Trialing Badger, the resident archaeologist. Uh, G Townsend subscribed via Twitch Prime just before we went live, I think. So thanks for that. You didn't get a little bewit there, but uh, here's one from me. Bewit. G Townsend, seventeen, subscribed with Twitch Prime. She doesn't read it out, Robot Lady, but I, that's what it would sound like if she did. Uh, we got uh, we got Trowling, Trowling Badger. Oh yeah, I've done that one. Uh, uh, and Imperium 7 we've done with some uh, awesome Lydia emotes in Hello, the chat. Peter. I'm Hello. glad you are streaming today. Oh, well, I always enjoy your streams. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here to watch it, Stephen. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for being with us and for donating. Straight away with these donations, as always. So generous. And Barlam is here. Sim Zeppelin says, sup fams. Oh, I sound horrible, don't I? You've got to listen to this for the next two hours. Uh, Dr. Mundy. Uh, I did say Stephen Scares, didn't I? Yeah, he was the first one. Uh, and uh, Carrie the Worst says, hello, Tiny Peter. Hello. Bootsy10, good morning, TP and clan. It's afternoon here, but I'll I'll allow it. It's okay. Uh, and, uh, oh boy. Bewilderments, Solar Quetzal. Fatal Exception, Footy Mad Stee, Wobbly Pants, so Digby Chicken Caesar, not seen that name for a little while, I feel like. Uh, G Townsend is there, that's even better than Robot Lady, thank you. Oh, you're all here, Fred the Shed. Hello, hello one and all. Thank you. Oh, Stephen says he even typed I'm, not im, but it just came through like an im, did it? That's weird. Just got rid of your... Uh, Apostrophe. Ugh, okay, hello everybody. So Digby Chicken Caesar says, I want to try and be on more live streams. I've literally watched every video, but I never make the live stream. You've been on, you've, you've been to some, I had you? to skip the last stream so because I really, 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 really don't like football. So here's a little something to make up for it. Get yourself something nice from the shops. Oh, Imperium, thank you very much. I also really, 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 really don't like football or football games that much. Uh, so it was really just me playing FIFA with Ben, who is okay at FIFA, doesn't play it that much, but has played it enough, and Ross, who's really good at FIFA. Uh, but at least we were all on one team, so, you know... I kind of felt like, as long as... That's how I used to play uh, at school as well. I would just kind of make sure that if I'm able to... If the ball comes to me, just pass it pass, pass it on straight away, you know? Don't go... I'm not going for any glory. I, I'm not a striker. Don't don't let me strike. You know, put me in... I mean, maybe not even put me in defence. Because I would, I would often go, like, you know, left back. It's like the least important... The least important position isn't it or is it right back because it's like if the people are generally right footed so the attackers yeah they would be worse on that side so right I guess right back is like you could fe feasibly put your weakest player right back and it would have the least effect but you know don't even put me in defence because that's an important role striking is an important role midfield you know, I'm sure it's just as important as everything else, but I can kind of just blend into the background there. Just don't, don't let me, don't let me do any, don't, don't just, in fact, put me on the bench. I did actually used to spend a lot of time on the bench, thank God, almost voluntarily. Uh, okay, so, uh, what's going on? Oh, that was just Triple Jump tweeting me. Okay. Oh, 
triple jump is oh there we go sport peter sport hello hello ben in chat thanks for tweeting uh cool well what time is it yeah we've waited the the obligatory five minutes where we let the let the room fill up a bit um but yeah thank you thank you Stephen and imperium for your donations so far if you want your donation read out by a robotic woman or man, but it is a woman. Well, it sounds like a woman, but let's not let's not assume anything. Uh, then you can uh, donate five US USDs or more, and it'll be read out. Oh, it just sounds so horrible to listen to. I don't like don't don't normally like the sound of my own voice anyway. But it's worse when you sound like this, isn't it? Ugh, ugh. Oh, Matt Fox is now hosting us. Thank you, Matt Fox. That's good. That's good of you. Good of you. Right, okay. Let's relaunch this game. I saw it earlier in chat. Someone said Peter's streams are basically just my childhood. Well, that's... that's they're my childhood too. That's why I'm playing all these. Speedway Nuts, just subscribe. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Walrus Clan. Uh, I, um... You sound like every time you say gutter snipe. I do. I've, I'm doing the gutter snipe voice just permanently. Right, let's launch this game. Uh, should be this one, right? Infograms. We like infograms. They do good stuff. Uh, Bioshock player. Just subscribe. Thank you. Hope you enjoy Bioshock. I really like Bioshock. Well, not the third one. I arguably prefer the second one to the third one, and everyone knows the second one's not as good as the first. Wow. Hot takes from TP today. English. Ready? I have to get to Ichthology class soon, sadly, but I'll catch up on the pod. I adored this game as a child, says Tommy the Wank Engine. Ichthology? Let me try and work out what that is. There's Ichthyosaurus. I'm trying to think of what the most distinguish distinguishable thing of an Ichthyosaurus is. Isn't that a, 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 an underwater dinosaur? Is Ichthyosaur... Ichthyosaur. Oh, it's just... It's just fish, generally. Okay. Thank you, thank you everyone. The study of itching. Says Sim Zeppelin. I tried to be clever and work out something more specific, like toothed fish, or you know, fish with a certain number of gills. But no, it's just it's just a big fish in Ichthyosaur. I remember that. I knew it was underwater though. I got that. Here we go. Bugs been lost in time. Here I am, Pismo Beach. Look how small his nose is. Hey, wait a minute. This doesn't look like Pismo Beach. I probably should have joined right at Albuquerque and... Ooh, look at the size of this carrot juice dispenser. Yikes. Has he got a little arsehole in his, in his tail there? A little dot in it. All right, so Bugs found a, a machine. He accidentally turned it on, and now... Now this. Can you hear me over the... Is it a bit loud? If only Bugs had turned right at Albuquerque, the events of this game would never have happened, says Louis J. Weber. You're right. That's where the Nesquik comes from. <laughs> what, the little Bugs Bunny butthole? Oh no. Bugs is well ahead of his time. Hipsters love carrot juice in smoothies and stuff now. I, I quite like carrot juice. They used to have loads of it in bottles at uh, Yogscast when we worked there. Really good. But it was carrot and orange. But I've had carrot on its own before. That's quite nice. Surprisingly nice for just the juice of a vegetable. Now, uh, where the heck am I? Maybe the person who lives in the silo will tell me where I'm at and how to get out of being The empty. person who lives in the silo. Come right in. How do you do? My name
name is Merlin, and I'm a sorcerer. Yeah? Really? A sorcerer? Come on, let me see a sorcerer. Huh? Please, please? Of course. Anything to oblige a guest. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's a good trick, my old Goyle. Can you do this one? That gave him a hobby, but I still ain't near it to my natural habitat. Uh, sorry to interrupt this entertaining demonstration, but uh, can you tell me where I am? It seems that you are lost in time, my dear. Here, it's nowhere. Nowhere? And do you know how I could get back to, uh, somewhere? Of course I know. You must go from one era to another and find symbols like this. They will open you new... It's a collectathon. ...progressively lead you back to present time. All right. Listen carefully, rabbit. Get ten of these objects to receive a clock symbol. That's it for now. Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. So I need to find ten golden carrots in this level to get my first clock symbol. Uh, Kilo Clouds, or Kalo Clouds, I've never worked it out, says, Hey, TPs. Uh, been a bit since I could catch a stream, but love... Since uh, 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 to catch a stream, love it says actually, which confused me. But uh, it's been a while since you catch a stream, love. But I'm here for this one. Much love to you. Thank you, Kilo slash Kalo. Let me know in the chat how you pronounce that, Kilo. I'm going Kilo, but who's to say? Uh, so yeah, I, I uh, when I was going to do streaming, when when we decided, oh, we should stream. Uh, from, from Triple Jump. The idea initially was, okay, well, what we'll do is we'll make sure we always stream fairly contemporary, up-to-date games from Triple Jump so that we can maybe stream retro stuff from Vidiots so that there's no sort of crossover or, you know, like, conflict there. In the end, it just turned out that people seem to enjoy me streaming all this old stuff. So that's what I've been doing now. And we're going to continue to do so. Oh! oh that's a good start there, isn't it? Uh, there we go. So this game's a collectathon. Oh. Okay. Uh, someone asked Peter this is contemporary for you. <laughs> I suppose it is. Uh... <coughs> Tommy the Wank Engine says, lock me up for crimes against hand shuffling. That's someone who's watched my review of this game on YouTube. Uh, so, I'm being asked if I'm going to 100% this game. Uh, I am definitely going to make sure I unlock and play every level. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to 100% it. Because, God. There's a lot of, like, golden carrots just hidden. There's, there's like, a slightly different secret ending. Oh, you have to read the sign first before he lets you... Okay, there. It's, it's generated now. This is the tutorial area, by the way. So we're just going to learn how to, you know, climb chains and stuff. Uh, and do combat and things. So it's all just, you know... It's a very contrived kind of area. There's that thing, and then the ring, and then the chain to climb. You know, it's one of those, but... We'll While get on with it. running, try the roll action. It can be used as an attack against enemies. What platform is this on? This is on PlayStation 1. Uh, I'm trying to remember if it came out on anything else as well. Oh, I'm not even reading what I'm supposed to do. Use the jump or kick action to defeat some enemies. Combine both actions for some other ones. Squish. Squish him. Squish his head. There we go. And then kick him. That's how it works. Psst. If you can't hurt an enemy when he's facing you, try Coco to Davison kick says the game mind. is quiet. It could work. Turn it up a bit, you I guess. You could also try to tire him out first. When he stops, kick his behind, bunny. 
Kiki's behind, bunny. Oh, he's chasing me. I've got to wait till he's tired. There we go. Right, well, that's the thrilling combat section learned. It's like the Dark Souls of Bugs Bunny games. Oh, I need to turn all these signs on before the, the flipping golden carrot arrives. Come on, give it to me. To land on explosive objects like TNT boxes without injuries, use the here's action to softly land on it. The here's? The here's action? What does that mean? Right, hop, hop. Huh. 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 Creep, 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 creep. It's got all your standard platformer, 3D platformer sort of mechanics. You can move some Creeping, pushing objects around, stacking crates to... Oh, the controls are different on it, because this is a, an ISO of the American version. And normally, I think you just in the in the PlayStation version, you would just have to. Uh, the sorry, the the PAL version, you would just walk up to that thing and push it just by walking into it. Weird. Nice. Uh, so, hang on. I missed out a donation before, I think. Oh no, was it a subscription? Subscribe to the stream. Lord Bromish just subscribed. Said eight months of being subscribed, that's like forty dollars at least. On to the next eight months. Well thank you for your forty dollars. And your continuing efforts as a mod there, Lobrotovich. Very good of you. Oh, bam! Falzi211 just subscribed and said, uh, another banger. I think you have the exact same childhood gaming history as me. Yeah. I was glad that this came a close second in uh, the poll that I did for, for games to play. Uh, yeah, I missed out. It's either or Shug or Or's Hug. Uh, or just all one word, it's just like or shook. But they subscribed for three months on a three month streak. Wow, fantastic. Uh, Wobbly Pants subscribed as well. I know, gifted us up to Speedway Nut. It's an interesting name. Speedway Nut. Not Speedway Nut. Uh, right. Oh, with a chat like this, it's easy being a mod. Isn't that nice? Oh, come on. Just give me all the golden carrots. Let's make them spawn. Bounce on some enemies to reach inaccessible objects or grounds. Grounds. So, yeah, there might be a couple of slightly different... Uh... It's a checkpoint. A few... A couple of different things in this game... In this version of the game, the American you version, might might get thrown off once or twice. So these are all the mechanics. There's throwing and there's bouncing. There's arguably too much in this game, but there's some really interesting, unique levels. It's one of those games where, like, one time you're in a car, then you're skiing, and then you're just platforming, and then you're like in a mine cart. Uh, then you're doing like, uh, oh. Like puzzles, you know, like a there's like a, a puzzle game. Oh, I woke him up. There's like a yeah, a bit where you have to do like loads of brain teasers and stuff. Uh, oh, there's all sorts in this. Ah, oh, do I kick him? I thought I had to bounce on him. Where is he? Sneakums, sneakums. Yeah, Merlin definitely sounds like. He's, he's going to betray us. Sounds evil, but he's not. Uh, this is fun. Remember this sort of blew my mind as a kid when I first played this? Sorry, peeps. My username is my first two initials and my last name. Oh, A.W. Shug. Well, now I know. It's okay. You don't need to change it. Uh, so, you can go to a rabbit hole and, like, dive into it, like that, 
and then tunnel around in like classic Bugs Bunny style, which is awesome. Uh, except something that's even more awesome is that you can do that anytime you like, and you just like Looney Tunes it properly, like smash. Uh, cool. So let's go in here. Ah! Oh, every time, just stop. Oh, I forgot that that's a thing. It starts spinning you around when you get in there. Uh, carrot. Have we got? Have we got all the carrots now? All the golden carrots? Hello? That tunneling looks like a turd snake. I mean, you know, you didn't have to say it. You didn't have to say it. Imperium 7 gifting uh, a sub to the community has gone to Clumboli. Catherine Expat subscribed and said, What's up, Doc? Not much. What's up with you? Thanks, Catherine Expat. And uh, thank you, Imperium 7, for your generosity. Uh, Falsy 211, yeah, I did that one. Subscribed. Shiny Spork. Uh, people ask us if I, if I want to play Sheepdog and Wolf or the the, sequ the sort of spiritual successor to this game, which was uh, Bugs and Taz Time Busters. I'm less inclined to play those because I didn't have either of them as a child, and I'm more I prefer just you know playing playing the games that I know and love in uh, on these streams for the most part. Sweet. Yeah, he's uh, he's voiced by Billy West in this uh, game of uh, Fry fame. I did a very extensive review of this game on YouTube on my own on my own channel. It's about the only review that is sort of representative of my. Pick this one up to start your quest. It opens the Stone Age era. Get in and there. Choose one of the opened entrances. Visit all of them and get back all the hidden blocks they I will. contain. Great! Thanks, Mile. Anything else? Uh, yes. Of course, picking up carrots will raise up your energy. That's it for now. We'll probably meet again somewhere in time. Time traveling is one of my favorite hobbies. I'll teach more later, time traveler. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. Lord Brock, just the London race review is also great. Yeah, it's just, uh... Collection Merlin's system. voice is extremely well, scandal-pending. They laughed at the man when he discovered the penicillin. They did not laugh at... Oh... Have I only just got that joke? Is it because it sounds like penis? I don't think it is, no. I think the joke is that it's because he let his... He let the mould grow, but that he didn't laugh at him, that's not true. Yeah, I, I reviewed this game on YouTube and it was... Uh, I've done a lot of... well, not a lot, I've done like half a dozen game reviews, but I started them years ago before I really knew properly, in my opinion, how to write, present and edit. And this, this one, uh, I did when I wanted to sort of revamp the whole review series. So I really put like loads of effort into it. I think it, it goes, you know, it works pretty well. Uh, but then I never actually made any more, despite it trying to be, you know, I was trying to make it a bit of a comeback for the, for the review show. But then I ended up getting a, a job being a video editor, a gaming video editor. I was like, oh, can't do it in my own free time as well. Jesus, help. So, uh, oh, personally, I enjoy all the super. Look well, it's very nice. Thank you very much. It's very nice of those of you who are saying that it's all good. I can't really watch the old stuff, but sure. Ranger Jer says, I like your glasses, TP. Thank you very much. They're new. I only have them a couple of weeks. Imperian 7 subscribed. I like how you gifted a subscription before even subscribing yourself. That's real, uh, you know, uh, philanthropism. Altruism. Stone Age. Ranger Jurs also subscribed as well. Thank you very much. Lovely. Shiny Spork. Done that one. All these subscribers. Thank you very much indeed, everybody. <laughs> Super Duck merch when? Never. 
People don't want to see productive. How? It's the most least relevant channel ever. I don't really do anything with it anymore. Other than annual help. Uh, Yogscast remixes. Isn't there a, a golden carrot here somewhere? Can you like roll, roll into the net hole or something? I think there's like a secret golden carrot. Maybe not. So, there's a golden carrot here. I have to collect 99 regular carrots. Uh, and these little hub areas, you access the levels by diving into little rabbit holes, which is nice. Not just rabbit holes, though. Uh, later on, we go to the 1930s, and the hub is like an old American street in, like, Chicago or something. And you dive into, like, bins and sewer grates and stuff. It's all very, uh... Contextual. Yeah, rabbit, rabbit, yeah, yeah. They're hunting rabbit. Hey. Wabbit. What's up, dog? Wabbit. Wabbit. Yeah, wabbit, wabbit. Yeah, yeah. Did peeps think I wasn't subbed all this time? No, I didn't think you weren't subbed. But, you know, before extending your own subscription, you, you went as far as gifting. Just very, very good of you. Yeah, this is definitely, this is different. You don't normally have to press R1 with a PlayStation, but it keeps saying PlayStation, the PAL version. Alexa, how unlock Big Chungus DLC? <laughs> oh! It's one of those games where they jump when you walk off an edge, which is good, because, oh boy, that would have been bad. Great! Great! There's so much chat today. I confess that I prefer my pocket peach shirt over a super duck shirt. I wore it out recently and everyone kept smiling when they saw it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yogg's remix coming soon for 2019. Yeah, I mean, you know, probably. I never say these things for definite, because who knows what's going to... Oh no! Is this stone still movable? Yes, just. Ugh. There's a golden carrot here, see? I need to grab it. Nice. I don't think carrots existed in the Stone Age. Pretty sure we've sort of made them. Love this as a as a platforming thing. Just like climbing on a dinosaur's head. Really nice idea, but you know, kind of feels sort of unique. Love it. So these little shadows, you see the shadow on the floor here? There's a few of these. If you step into it, it can be bad for you for reasons that will soon become apparent, but you can also kite enemies into them and the bad thing will happen to them instead of you. Oh no! Maybe not this example. Normally you can. There's some really good like animations where you can uh, make people... Oh! stand under those, and they look up and they're like, oh boy, and then it hits them on the head. It's like real Looney tunes -y, but I guess it doesn't work with the cavemen. That's weird. Hey! Oh. hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All these golden carrots, man. So many to find. Oh. Okay. Clock symbols as well. Lovely art style in this game. 
And despite being 3D, it does kind of feel like it is the Looney Tunes world. Just the way that some of the shapes and stuff. I'm in a microwave. There we go. Look at the carrot. just planted itself into a wooden bridge. That's strange. Ooh. Boing. Through the hole. I know where all the secrets are in this game. Go through the flipping hole. What's the next recipe you boys will cook? I don't know. It might be something... This time of year... Especially in the UK, because we have one extra thing. Uh, this time of year is the time of year for themed things. In that, you know, first it's Halloween, so you do a spooky thing. I'm not saying we're doing a spooky recipe, but we might do. Uh, then we... Uh... Ooh. Then it's uh, in the UK, then it's Guy Fawkes Bonfire Night. I mean, you wouldn't generally do a bonfire night themed episode of something, but you could do. Uh, and then it's uh, Christmas. And then it's New Year. Lots of opportunities for, like, you know, that kind of thing. Oh! Flipping X. Uh, these are pick upable, and I can't remember if I need to do something clever here. <laughs> No? I don't think there's anything there. Okay. Bonfire night is my dad's birthday, says Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. Remember, remember. The 5th of November is your dad's birthday. Gunpowder, treason and plot. I always thought it was actually a really stupid... Oh dear. A really stupid uh, memory aid. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Because... Oh! Those stones just dropped out of the sky. That was a bit weird. Uh, because... Most people can remember that it's in November. Occasionally, I think everyone knows it's the 5th of November, but like, if anything, the day of the month is harder to remember than the month that it's in. And 5th doesn't, isn't part of the rhyme. You know, if it was like, oh Jesus. If it was like, uh, remember Mr. Smith, November the 5th, then it would be a better, you know, mnemon mnemonic. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? You guys know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just delirium from my from my stuffies. There are lots of dates that fit the rhyme. Yeah, that's my point, Embalm. It could be remember you could be like, oh, remember, remember, the twelfth of November, the the ninth of November, the first of November, remember, remember, the sixth of December. It just doesn't help you remember, is my point. So Elmer Fudd is here now. Interesting thing about this game is that there are bosses for each time zone that are based on, you know, a, a real... Not just a real Looney Tunes character, but indeed from a real episode. There was actually a very, very old episode, as you'll see in my excellent review, uh, where Elmer Fudd was dressed up like this and he was a caveman. It was called Prehistorical Hair. Uh... But the best thing is that there's not, like, an individual single boss battle. You fight them all, like, multiple times. So here, all we do is, like, meet him, and we just use him to literally get up this cliff. That's that's your encounter with Alma Fudd in this level. That's it. Uh, but then there's, like, two other sort of, you know, encounters with him. Then when you get to the pirate years, it's Yosemite Sam is a pirate. And there's like at least two boss battle style fights with him. It's really good. I really like the way this is done. There's a Lee Mack skit from Stand Up where he has a rant about how to spell possesses. His teacher taught him possesses, possesses five S's. And he just rants that any number fits in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. These useless... These useless things. Here's a good one, though. That I learned... Someone told me 
when I was far older than I should have needed it, to be honest, was how to spell necessary. I think I would have been able to spell it anyway, but someone did teach me this rhyme. Or well, not a rhyme, it's a... Uh, it's like an acrostics kind of thing. Uh, never eat cake, eat salmon sandwiches, and remain young. That's how you spell necessary. Apparently. And now I always... I always think that when I'm writing it out. Like I say, I think I probably already knew how to spell it, but... One C, two S's. Anyone else got any? What was your planet's one? Do they still... I guess they don't teach Pluto anymore now, do they? For the planets. So they probably changed the, the memory aids. We used to do, uh... Most vicars eat mushy jam sandwiches under netball posts. Which is really weird, isn't it? Most vicars eat mushy jam sandwiches under netball posts. Great. I got taught necessary to think of a t-shirt, one collar, two sleeves. Oh, that's good. Every villain is lemons spells evil. <laughs> That's a great one. My very efficient memory just serves up nine planets. Oh yeah, we, uh, a different class to me used to say, my very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Oh yeah, some people are saying that one. Uh, planets was, my very excellent mother just send us just sent us nine pizzas. <laughs> That's great. Do Americans have a better one, or like a, a more culturally relevant one for Rainbow? Because quite often in the UK, I have to sneak by the way and not wake up the uh, the, the pterodactyl. Uh, in fact, I'll show you what happens if you wake up the pterodactyl. He grabs you and he carries you away and he can press square to go. Whoa! 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 Uh, but yeah, in Britain, quite often, kids will get taught, Richard of York gave battle in vain, which is a really... I mean, that's not something that kids can relate to very easily, I don't think. They don't know who Richard of York is. They don't really know what in vain means when they're, you know, seven years old. Uh, it's not It's not a good one. But uh, we just go Roy G. Biv in America. What the hell? Roy G. Biv? That's weird. Yeah, Richard of York gave battle in vain in, in, the, in the UK. How about that? We're learning stuff about each other's country. Oh, you nearly got me. Oh, yikes. Many vile earthlings munch jam sandwiches under newspaper piles. <laughs> Strange. We, uh, when I was in sick form, that's, uh, uh, the, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, the sixth or seventh year of high, it was like college. It's like once you've done your, when you're 17, when you're 17, that's what sick form is in America. Uh, <laughs> Oh, how do I reach that? Do I have to go from further further up? Uh, anyway, in biology, when I was 17, we were learning about taxonomy, which is when it's like the Latin names for animals and stuff. Like, you know, you've got the animal kingdom, and then uh, there's like the phylum, and the, the, you know, it's like genus and species and stuff. And the order is kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. And our teacher told us to come up with a way for us all to remember it. And he was like, I want you to make it as rude and non-classroom appropriate as possible because then you're more likely to remember it. Am I supposed to go over there? Maybe it's not even... Maybe there's nothing on it. Is it just sort of background? I mean, it looks platformable. That's the strange thing. Let me just sneak over here. There's nothing on it, though. Maybe I don't need to. 
I'm going to assume that I don't need to go there. Oh no, I was going. I was trying to rush it. Uh, and that's funny. I just gave my example before you went into this. Oh, did I? Oh, I must have missed that one. Uh, but yeah, the way we would learn. The, so the way we learnt that, the rudest possible one. And it's not very politically correct either. But anyway, it's uh, God. It's really not politically correct now that I've thought of it. But I'll tell you anyway because it's too late. Uh, kinky people crap on fat gay slags. I think the use of gay there is is not it's not really, you know. I mean maybe they're just gay. It's not it's not about that they're, they're just homosexual. That's fine. But uh, yeah, kinky people on crap crap on fat gay slags. Uh, banned. Great. Just perfect. Demonetized. <laughs> People are shocked and appalled by this. Uh, Ranger Jer says, King play cards on firm green spaces. Ah, okay. That's more uh, polite than mine. But I've remembered it always. Kingdom phylum, class order, family, genus, species. It's just a shame that I can't remember actually, like, any examples of... You know, kingdom is plant or animal, and then genus and species, I know a handful of examples, but I don't remember any flipping families and phylums and crap like that. No one remembers that. Hey, if it works, it works, says Adi. Hey, yeah, Smile. you're right. Bye. Adi Pramana. Yeah. Goodbye, Moyle. I left for two minutes and came back to that foul language. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Ban me. Demica Kempton says, don't kink shame. You're right. You're right. If people want to crap on fat gay slags or straight slags, that's fine. You just, you know, go for it. Guess who needs a kickstart? It's Elmer Fudd. I learned to spell flamingo from chat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. King prawn curry and fat greasy sausages. That's what the other class used to do, but ours is way better. You wabbit. Biff. Ouch. So this is just a random boss fight in level two. But you know, why not? So you gotta I'm just gonna collect all these carrots first. Maybe I should have kept them for health, but anyway. You dive down a hole. Oh. Uh oh, no, you don't go the way that he's coming from. That's a bad idea. Yeah, so you have to go sort of away from him. He sticks his head down the hole, you jump out, and you give him a, a biff. Like that. Oh! And you get golden carrots from him. Oh, damn it. Oh, I keep missing it. Like a big dumb idiot. No, I've still missed it. This animation is pretty great. Yeah, it is. Ouch. It's a really nicely done game. It looks like graphically, some of it leaves a lot to be desired. Some of it works because of the style. It's meant to look cartoony. Some of it just looks bad rather than cartoony. But like, you know. Uh, great. Just perfect. You have completed this level. Yay. Let me save your position. Oh, you can save my position anytime you like, Merlin. Uh, so Merlin is a real Looney Tunes character. He was from a, an actual episode. Uh, and his surname is Monroe. He's called Merlin Monroe. Thanks, Moyle. You know, like, like the one who shows her knickers off on the subways. What? Okay, so I've 100 percent of these two. That's good. We've now run out of... Uh, levels to play here because look you have to backtrack which is interesting I mean why not you know 
So now we're going to go to a new time zone. Do I have enough carrots? No. Nearly. That's fine. I'll be back. Oh yeah, Mrs. Gren and Mr. Snurg. Or, no, Mrs. Nurg and Mrs. Gren. I, there was also a class in my school who, who used Mr. Snurg. But we had Mrs. Gren. Yeah, that's the necessary features of living, living organisms. We, we talked about this in a previous uh, stream, actually. So that's movement, respiration, sensation, new, like nutrition, nutrients, uh, excretion. Uh, what's the other R? And G is growth. Reproduction. Reproduction and growth. There you go. All these things that we remember stuff from school. It was worth learning. Where's the flipping pirate years? There we go. Ah, oh, here we go. The moon. <laughs> Siberia, far away. Quebec. Oh, that's weird. Congratulations on your anniversary, Peter. Get Amy something nice from the shops. Oh, thank you, Imperian Seven. Yeah, me and Amy have been together for four years now. So this time next year will be, will be five years, and uh, the year after that we'll be married by the time it's our anniversary again. Uh, I've just noticed it says a different, different word on each sign on the, on different sides. So it's pointing to Paris that way. Look to the right, but then also that way to the almost opposite direction. Weird. Three God, why did I pay for this? Three what? She didn't read the rest of it. Call the new emergency services number. O one one eight nine 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 eight eight nine 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 one one nine seven two five three. She did, oh, she only said three. That's the most important bit of that, though. Uh, well, sorry that, because I'm sure the reason you paid for that was to get the robot lady to read it, but she didn't. Weird. Maybe she just doesn't like strings of numbers like that. If you, maybe if you write it out in words. Not that I'm suggesting you give us another five dollars, but I'm just saying if someone else wanted to. That's strange. She just doesn't like digits, I guess. She, maybe she thinks there's something dodgy going on. What's up, Doc? Mm, this year's mine! Come back here, you mangy mutineering rabbit! This level is pretty long. Don't like it that much, but uh... So Digby Chicken Junior says, to be honest, that was even funnier, just trying to suppress my laugh at my desk. Get five of these objects to receive a clock symbol. So, remember the new number. Come on, Krabby. So this is a more traditional linear platforming level. Well, I guess the, the other level was linear, but it felt... You know, it's more like... It's almost like Crash bandicoot -y, this one, in that it's like... Almost corridor-based, you know, as opposed to the other one, which was... Not so corridor based. Don't know how that guy throws his pincer at you. I kind of feel like I'm making the same points that. Oh, there's an acne crate under there. Making all the same points that I make in my review, so it's kind of boring for people who are. who've seen that, but. <laughs> it's like when you go to see a stand up, or you see a stand up on TV and they just. they're on like a panel show, and a topic comes up that they, they talk about in their stand-up show and they just use the joke that you've already heard from their gig. It's like, oh, yep, yeah, there's that there's that joke. So this is what this game is about, right? Uh, just at random intervals, you'll come across something like this, for example. I press R1. We're playing Coconut Monty. I wasn't actually looking there. I think it was the left one. It was. Hello? Great. Oh, is that a regular carrot? I thought it was a 
was golden. Middle. I'll take it anyway. I need 99 of these. I got 99 carrots and a clock ain't one. Clonk. Down at an English fair, one evening I was there. When I heard a showman shouting underneath the flare. Oh! Five. Gosh, a lovely bunch of kirkenats. Oh, the penny a bitch. Please, bugs. Oh, look at those frozen claws. Why does this game run so weirdly? Either on the American version or... Or on the emulated version. That's not supposed to happen. There we go. Weird. Some as big as Tiny Peter. Oh my god. That's slightly frightening. Clock! <laughs> Imagine turning in, tuning in now, never having watched the boys before. A grown man playing Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, mumbling lovely bunch of coconuts to himself, whilst people in the chat talk about comedians. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird, isn't it? I don't even know why I started. Why did I start singing? Oh, because it was, um... I said it's three coconut Monty. I started thinking about coconuts. Biff him. Biff him good. Okay. TP, what's your ideal stag do? I tell you what. My stag do is not going to be a traditional... Oh, Jesus, a bit scary, those clams. They can eat you. My stag do will not be a traditional stag do. At all. Do not... Do not have me... Not that it's anything to do with you guys, but... I'm not going to a goddamn piss up, thank you very much. Not on your Nelly. That is not me at all. I honestly, somehow, and I'm pretty sure this is the opposite to how it's supposed to work. Somehow, oh God, I now can handle my drink less than ever before. Maybe not ever before. I'm sure the first time I had a drink, I probably didn't take it very well, but like... I swear to God, even if I've had, like, something to eat beforehand and I'm drinking water, if I have two pints of not even particularly potent stuff, like, I feel like I should not have any more. I will be unwell in the morning if I, if I drink any more than this. Like, I get, you know... Not in, a, not in a bad, intense way, but I get, you know, a bit of a spinny room. You know, like when you stand up and you're like, oh, fuck, flip, flip an X. You know, I nearly did a swear there. You, you stand up from, from the table you've been sitting at for the past few hours drinking. And I get that from, like, two pints. I don't know what's happened. It's because I'm so tiny, people are saying. Yes, Peter, we watched that drunk person tap. Well, that was, we'd had a lot more then. We had, um, oops. And that was proper, that was slightly more potent. We went to a, a cider place where they do like, oh, Jesus, they do pretty strong stuff. But yeah, yeah, I was, uh, I was pretty merry at that point. There we go. Oh, Christ, what a noise. Can I reach that? Yes. I don't drink very often, but I recently discovered that Parma Violet Cider is a thing, and it's really nice. I had one glass the other day, and it was pretty tipsy. Oh, and was pretty tipsy. Oh, okay. Amy loves Parma Violet. F in chat for Peter's language. I have a problem with blacking out over having very little to drink, especially liquor. I can't handle it. I willingly turned down organising my best friend Stag. I want nothing to do with that nonsense, says Empyrean7. Please, please, please do a drunk stream. 
Yeah. So, um, oh yeah, people are saying, is stag do another term for a bachelor party? Yeah, in America, in, in the UK, we call them stag parties and hen parties, or stag do's and hen do's. Uh, so this is what I was talking about, with, um, see the shadows on the floor, like the anvils in the previous level? Watch this animation. Really, really nice details that they threw into this game that they could have totally got away with not doing. You can even, when some people have been knocked out, you can bounce on them. They go all squishy, but not this guy, apparently. But, you know, that was, that was nice, wasn't it? They, why would they Why would they include that? I'm glad that they did, but... God. Oh, Lobrotovich. Did you read out Josie, uh, Jonesy Knighty's sub? I don't think I did. I missed that one. We need to get the ball the audio balance. Oh, I see it. Josie Knight. Uh, jo I keep calling him Josie. Uh, Jonesy ninety subscribed for eight months. Wowzer. Uh, so uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, I need to I need to play with the audio mix in my ear. Uh, I know that, like, you guys can... Oh, wow. This treasure. You guys can hear stuff generally okay, but, uh, we have, like, a separate mix of levels in our headphones, and actually Robot Lady is sometimes really quiet. I always miss the, the view whips. So, my apologies if I miss any. They also don't come up on my screen. That's just for you guys. I can see them on... I've got two screens. I've got a big telly where I'm playing the game. Then over there, I've got the chat and a tiny little feed of the stream itself, which does have the view ips on it. Uh, but yeah, they, don't, they certainly don't... Ah! They certainly don't come up. I'm going to die soon. They don't come up on the big telly when I'm playing the game. I'm hoping I've not missed a red crate, actually, because there's a couple here, but I'm just feeling like I've not seen one for a while. We'll see. Peeps, if you need someone to help organise your stag do, I've got you covered. Star Wars Blu-ray box set, microwave popcorn, some top trumps and a 50p. <laughs> I'll even get some WKD to make it extra wicked wicked. Cool. That sounds perfect. <laughs> the 50p, I mean that makes it, for sure. No, seriously though, um, for, my, for my stag, I'll probably... I'm not saying I won't go out and have drinks. Like, I'd like to go to a bar at some point, you know, to sort of round it off and maybe have, like, you know, just have a couple of drinks. But, uh... Oh, Jesus. The other crate now. But I don't want to start at, like, you know, get on the train at, like, 10am, like people do, with loads of... with a crate of beer. And then they go to some city. They piss everyone off who's just out for a nice day on the... Tr not a day on the train, but you know what I mean. People who've... who've uh... Oh, what? Oh, this American version is absolute bull. You can carry a whole stack. Oh, there we go. Love that. Uh... But yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not going to make a whole day of it in some city somewhere in the UK or abroad. Even people go to Amsterdam and they just get pissed up and like sleep with a prostitute. Finally caught a stream live between classes. How goes it, everyone? Hello, uh, Zoe Mims. Nice to have you. Thanks for the donation, a uh, subscription. Sorry, very kind. How do I kill this guy? Do I have to tire him out? I know you can't not just kick these guys. Will he get tired? No?
No, maybe not. Sometimes they don't. Oh, you just kick him. Okay, weird. That's the one thing about this game is sometimes it's really inconsistent with how you deal with certain enemies. Like, you could be dealing with the same, one of the same enemies as that you've already met in that level and they'll die in a different way. It's strange. It's not actually very good game design when you think of it like that. No, yeah, but for my for my stag, I think I'll probably, uh, you know, I'll get some some mates together, father-in-law to be uh, my dad, you know, people like that, fam, you know, male family members and friends, and possibly uh, possibly my sister as well, because uh, I've oh, oh I've asked her to be my best man or woman. Which is nice, I think. Breaking them, breaking tradition. So you know, ordinarily, uh, a uh, best man would be. I mean, just traditionally, a best man would uh, organise this dag do. I'm not necessarily expecting her to do that, and she doesn't have to come if she doesn't want to, because it'll mostly be blokes. Although, actually, two of my uh, best friends are girls as well, and I'm going to invite them for sure. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a big sausage fest. Uh, so yeah, uh, some family and friends, a couple of ladies as well, and my my best best woman, and uh, don't know, just uh, probably like a day, a daytime experiency thing. You know, like people go like, I can't think of an ex. I don't want to go zorbing, but people go zorbing. Do you know what I mean? Like something like that. Just do that. With some friends. Ah. Thank you, everyone. You're all saying it's nice that I asked my sister to be. Ah, well. Very, very good of you. Hello? No? Where do I get something to hit the targets with if it's not. What's this for? I've played this game a million times and I don't know what the bollock is going on. What's zorbing, people are asking. That's when you go in one of those big bubble balls with like a bit of water in it and then they roll you down a hill. Have you not seen zorbing? It's called zorbing, isn't it? Help me out, chat. People who know what zorbing is and isn't. Do I set fire to the tree? What the hell's going on? No. Uh. Huh. Was there something all the way back here? I've forgotten what, what I do. That sounds fun slash dangerous. Yeah. You just did a big hamster wheel, hamster ball. Oh wait, this is where you get the throwable stuff. What am I doing? There's a pearl thing right here. Big, big dumb idiot face head, me. That's what I am. A big stupid, stupid n t t t t noggin. Oh boy, okay. It's a slow process. There's a fair bit of this in this game as well. Well, not a fair bit. Occasional stuff. Where you have to do something three times and just back track between between spots. It's, uh, it's about 15 minutes until the sexiest of numbers. Use the clam bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Ranger Jess. Glad someone's paying attention. But Peter, don't you live in a hamster ball? Well, that's why I don't want to go zorbing, mate. Oh. But yeah, something like, you know, people go like go-karting or whatever. I don't want to go go-karting either, necessarily. I'm not, well, don't have any strong opinions about go-karting, but, you know, that's not what immediately springs to mind. But stuff, stuff like that, you know? I think Amy's going to be doing like, you know, similarly, she's not going to be going to, going into York and getting pissed up. She's going to like do a spa day or something and then probably go out for cocktails in the evening. That's the kind of people we are, me and her. Almost sickeningly pure. 
How's that draw distance? Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's not great, is it, when you, when you look at it like that? But most of the levels aren't open. Oh! Don't have sort of big open horizons like this. Not. Oh, god damn it. You only have enough. barely enough time to get there. So he does this. Bugs does this thing where. When you walk off an edge, you will jump. But I think it's actually a shorter jump than what a stand. If you jumped with X would, would be. So. Yeah, see, he's only just. He is only just making that, although actually you can make it all the way, so I'll do that. Because I was manually jumping before and that seemed a bit a bit tricky. Brucius, subscribed by Twitch Prime, and says, Honk. That's how I sound right now, I'm a bit honky. Honky? Well, I'm lucky. I'm a card-carrying member to be able to say that word, because that was inadvertent. <laughs> uh, also, Zoe... Oh yeah, I did Zoe Mims. Okay, cool. Just checking. Uh... Amy is classy. Peter gets hit by a cart. No. Oh, well, that, that went. I don't want a stripper. No. God. No, thank you. I can't think of anything worse. How do, how are you how is one supposed to react when a stripper turns up? Like your stag do. Or even even if it's not a, if even if you're single, if you if you say it's your birthday, you know, say you're like thirty and you're single, and someone's like, hey, let's get us. Oh no! Oh god damn it! Ah. Oh. It's taking us to a new, the next area, without the ability to backtrack, and there was still a, a whole bit of dock to explore in that previous one. I just assumed this. I thought there was a secret bit. I think. I think we've missed a bit. Anyway, whatever. Let's just do this. Let's get on with it. Bloody hell! Look, this camera shake. Jeez. Come on. I'm sure Michael would give you a lap dance. Yeah, he probably would. That that's probably worth asking for. But yeah, no, that's what I was saying. Uh, if if I was like, you know, if it was my birthday or something, and uh, I'm sure some of these trees you can kick stuff out of them. And someone got me a stripper, and even if I was single and I wasn't racked with guilt that there was a, a woman taking a or man taking their clothes off uh, clothes off on me. Like, you know that they've just been paid to do it. They're not there because they think you're really hot and they, you know. It's just such a weird situation. I would feel so awkward. I would never ever want that, even as a single man. Christ, yeah, this that's a big scary shark boy there. Need to throw a bone, throw a bone. Sharks well known for their, their love of bones. why I have never and will never go to a strip club. Don't get me wrong, I generally think it's a noble profession, but I don't particularly want to be sat in a room with lots of other semi-aroused men spending a fortune in the process. Yeah, I've never been to a strip club. I'd never like to go to a strip club. I also think there's nothing wrong with it as a profession. You know, obviously, like, if someone wants to do that to earn a living and, you know, it works for them and stuff, I, I don't have any problem with that at all. I also think strong opinion incoming I think prostitution should be legalized and regulated for the safety of sex workers because um, it's a bit like um, abortion, you know? Like, if you, um, if you make abortion illegal, which in some places it is, it still happens, but it just happens in an alleyway, you know? 
So it's just dangerous. I think, uh, you know, not for my own benefit, thank you very much, but I think uh, sex work should be made to, to certain, you know, you would, they would, I'm sure there's lots of nuanced things that would need to be addressed rather than just, it's illegal. I mean, sorry, it's, it's legal, but generally speaking, it should be allowed. Because people, like I say, people are going to do it anyway. So maybe make it so that they're not in danger and getting ripped off and getting uh, trafficked and getting... Oh! <coughs> getting treated badly by pimps and stuff. You know? Just a thought. How did we come to that? Oh yeah, I was saying, I don't think there's anything wrong with with people who work in strip clubs as a profession. It's just something that socially I would feel very uncomfortable with. Oh! It's a bit, it's a bit wibbly wobbly these controls, but... Ah! You really are supposed to throw a bone for those, those uh, sharks, but he didn't seem that interested in it before, so we just stopped doing it. Oh, there we go. I think it's because I was throwing it right at him, and he was catching it in the air, and so it wasn't distracting him. At least we know for future. 18 plus, yeah. Yeah, of course, 18 plus. I mean, you, <laughs> you wouldn't have... Yeah. Uh, oh, TP for Prime Minister, Peter for President. Agree with this wholeheartedly. Sex workers still work. Respect sex workers. Preach. Yes, Peter. Fully agree. TP support sex workers. I agree. Peeps. Respect the sex workers. Glad everyone. Most people are on the same page. Or everyone. Totes agree. Uh, fantastic. I suspect in you know in time, in the next few decades, that will hopefully become more of a an accepted thing. The dissonance between the game and the serious commentary is like an art piece. Yeah, I'm playing Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, talking about legalizing prostitution and protecting sex workers. That's me. Hello, welcome. Welcome to uh, Triple Jump Live. I hope there comes a time when sex workers are accepted by society. The vitriol they face for no good reason is absurd. Maybe when the boomers die out. I mean, yeah. I'm not suggesting... That I'm looking forward to the boomers dying because some of my family are boomers. But uh, boomer attitudes. Some boomer attitudes. Oh, this is this is tricky. I need to work out how these camera controls work now. I've not really had to use them. L2 and R2. Okay. Oh, throw it a bone. They've got a very interesting setup in Las Vegas when it comes to sex work. There's a documentary about it on HBO, I think. Sex workers are basically independent contractors. There's more to it, but it's definitely a step in the right direction, I believe. Okay. Weird. In well, interesting, I mean. Unusual. Uh, Coco Davison. Come for the retro video games. Stay for the geopolitical talks. Yeah, please do. Thoughts on my own, of course. It's not for me to say whether other members of the Cultaholic slash Triple Jump Network agree or disagree with what I'm saying. I suspect they probably agree. But, uh, you know, just don't quote me on that. I don't represent Cultaholic Limited when I say that sex work should be legalised. That's all I'm saying. This is better. This is easier. There we go. Uh, okay, good. Oh, see, so this is one that gets tired. Weird. I don't. I don't understand that. There's no internal consistency here. Get tired, friend. Right. Keep him from behind. Okay. Now I got his wheel. Sure. 
I've got a really tickly, tickly nose right now. Governments don't seem to realise that if it was legalised and controlled to some extent, then it opens up tax opportunities. Georgian London sex workers were taxpayers and it was legal. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like with uh, marijuana. I mean, I'm not... I can't profess to be genuinely read up on it. Uh, I've just... I'm just repeating things that I've heard said in articles and debates and stuff. But as far as I'm aware... There are, like, few to zero recorded deaths as a direct result of marijuana use, am I right? Or, like, as a direct result. Obviously, it can make you paranoid and anxious. And I guess, like, mental health-wise, there may be some deaths that resulted in that respect, you know. But, and also, you're still inhaling smoke, so I guess it's, it's not exactly, you know, totally pure. But, uh... You know, it's less addictive, it, or it's no more addictive than cigarettes, as far as I'm aware. Uh, probably no more harmful, or probably even less harmful for you than alcohol and cigarettes are. And we tax those to high heaven, don't we? Well, I say we, I mean the government do. So... That's another thing. I think I honestly do think weed should be legalized. And I, again, I'm not actually much of a user. In fact, I've never, <coughs> I've never had my own. Uh, I've only ever just leached off friends and stuff. Sometimes I chip in and say, "Oh, hey, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll give you a few pounds." Of course, I'm not saying that I've ever smoked any publicly. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying I've never, I've certainly never been in possession of any. And sometimes when friends have had it, I've given them money to help support their purchase of the marijuana. That's not to say I've, I've partaken in it, right? Uh, again, I don't represent Cultaholic or Triple Jump. Uh, but what I'm saying is, it should just be taxed. It should be legalised. I've seen, I saw a really interesting Vice, a video from, oh, Vice, they, they tweeted out, where they just, they, they were flying the wall at a, um, at like a, like a spliff factory, like a joint place. Uh, well, they were, they were manufacturing joints, like pre-rolled, and also they were selling, um, The little, the little, uh, buds. Like, packaging them up. And, uh, you know. It was all, you could see that, like, it was being done safely. Uh, and... Yeah, it just, I don't know, it just it all looked like... Yeah, great. Did I... Where does this go, then? I've been reluctant to... Oh, now we're back here, okay. Oh, I see, and now it's open this. Okay, I understand. But what about... Oh, okay, that's what this is about to open. God, it's a bit weird. But yeah, you know, it's, it's another thing where I think it would be safer. Um, people would know what they were they were getting, you know, because sometimes people buy it and it's, it's just actual grass and stuff, isn't it? And uh, there you go. It's now 4:20. Blaze it, everyone. Just as we're on topic. B b b b b b b b b blaze it, my milk duds. Ha 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 he he ho ho ha he ho ha he. Ho ho hi from the Mandalorian stag do rocket man and recognize number pinster pipotteru toy. Story 5 Mine Guest Artist Nick Trunt Hashtag Freddy Weber I sent Mikey bird seeds. <laughs> Excuse me? It went away by the time she got to the stuff about... Was that a pinstripe potteroo, did you say? Something about... The Mandalorian stag do rocket man Unrecognized number pinstripe potteroo. Toy Story 5. 
Mein Geschicht ist nicht rund. Hashtag Freddy Weber. I sent Mikey bird seeds. Mein Gesch uh, What's Geschichte? I'm trying to remember. Is it present? No, is that Geschenk? Oh, forgotten. I did. I used to know what Geschichte was. And rund. I don't know. I'm guessing is is just round. Because a lot of German words sound like English words, but I don't remember. Someone tell me what that means. Mein Geschicht ist nicht rund. rund. Uh, right, so now have I opened the other... I told you this level was long. Huh. Huh. Yes, there it is. Huh. Oh, that's a long jump. Oh, okay, there's a barrel, thank god. Just rejoined and Peter is speaking random German stuff. What? Yeah, we got, uh... T welcome back. Uh... German robot lady, well, robot lady said something in German, and I'm trying to work out what it was. Oh, it's from a Ramstein song. Ich bin Jaggers. Ugh, but that's a tall one. Let me just bonk that guy. <laughs> it's also confusing. Oh, I've got 99 carrots now. Hells yeah. Okay, need a need a crate up there. Zero out of ten, no Daffy Duck. Hey, Daffy Duck turns up later. Sorry, I need to separate those. That's how you do it. Throw them everywhere. Come on, bugs, please. Pl please, bugs. Bugs? Bugs, please. Please, bugs. Thank you. Thank you, bugs. Weird name, isn't it, really? Let me think about it. <laughs> oh, was that enough? Did I get them all? Is that why the clock symbol came out? I think I got all the crates. Yeah, Daffy is in this game plenty. Don't worry. You'll see him, see him shortly. Oh, all these clock symbols, man. We've got nearly ten of them. I jump in the treasure chest. Oh, which I can't do. Do I need to be up on these at any point for any reason? No, I don't think I do. Let me just check. There's nothing else I'm missing. Did I open this? Yes, I did. Okay, I came in this way. There's no point in me collecting carrots other than for health because I've got 99 and it maxes out at 99. Ah, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Any more? No. Okay. We must be nearly done. I suspect we may have left a golden carrot or two in that first area when we accidentally... I don't know. I feel like we might have missed out a bit in the first area. But This game is nothing if not a variety show. Like, you know, you're platforming and then suddenly there's this. You know, now I'm now I'm chucking bombs at a pirate. You know, I really like it. Constantly, you know, keeps you interested. Pretty good for a stream, actually. Come on, bomb me! No, the black one that's not about to blow up. There, that's the one. Thank you. Pick it up, bugs. Grab it! Bugs! Throw it! Arrgh! Okay. 
Okie dokie. Huh. Fantastic. Sweet. Okay, cool. It's probably still not the end. I think there's a little tiny bit left now. It might even be a boss fight. It is. Come on, Sam. Come back here, you mangy Can I just throw it? Yeah, from here. Love the animation. Look how squishy his hat is. Oh! Give me the barrel. Take it. Take it back. God, I've got to do it another three times by the looks of that health bar. Oh, oh! God damn it. Ah. Oh. Instead of stepping on his hat, he should eat it. Is that not an expression? Yeah, it is. Oh. 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 These animations are genuinely making me giggle. This is great. Oh no! Yeah, I did. I was, you know, I took far too many hits on that. There's even a little spinning 3D head in the bottom left. Oh, he's still got his health bar as it was. That's good. Oh, it says Acme on these on these things. I just realised the floats, the pont pontoons. Hard one. What are we talking about? Do you have any interest in the Ghostbusters remastered game, peeps? Uh, I had a great time with it, probably due to nostalgia. Yeah, I never played that game originally, but I've heard it, it was really well received. People really liked it. And it was like quite true, you know, as far as sort of adaptation games go. It was pretty true to... Oh, it's good, this game. Uh, yeah, so I don't I don't personally have any sort of nostalgic reason to play that game, but uh, I don't know, maybe. Cool. So I don't think we perfected that level. We may have done... But I feel like there was an area we missed in the first in the first part. We'll see. Great. Just perfect. You have completed this level. I was wrong. Let me save your position. Uh yeah. Thanks, Moyle. Bye. Yeah. Goodbye, Moyle. Welcome to Treasure Island, population one. <laughs> Very good. So I think now there are no pirate levels to play. We can grab the golden carrot. I think you have to do that in every level, every every hub, but it's ninety nine every time. So we'll get the caveman one later. Uh, this glowing thing, by the way, here is. You have to say a magic word, and it'll this will make you jump really high, so we can get up there and spin that wheel. 
which will open that mouth. Uh, but there's various other power-ups where you say a magic word and a different thing happens, like, uh, you know, it switches something on, or, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of skills that you learn later on in the medieval years. Got some blips there from Lobrotovich. Peter, I know you're not exactly tolerant to lactose, but if a certain someone was able to get his hands on some high-end German white chocolate and somehow give it to you at EGX, would you be able to eat it without having some Domino's level bum piss? Uh, do you know, the, actually the higher end white chocolate is, the better I am with it. In any case, if I just eat like one or two squares at a time, which is, as we all know, very hard to do with chocolate, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning, uh, then I'm always fine anyway, even if it's not so high end. But like, the, the higher quality, generally, higher quality white chocolate uses more of the actual like cocoa milk or something, it uses more from the, the actual cocoa bean. So they replace less of it with regular milk. Um, and cocoa milk obviously doesn't have lactose in it and regular milk does, so it's about the ratio of the two. And as a, as a rule, high-end chocolate has more of this like cocoa cream that they may call like cocoa milk or something in it. So yes would be the answer. Uh, we're hoping to see people at EGX, but uh, you know, we gotta we gotta just hope that we we bump into people. Really, I know there's people. That someone's uh, trying to organise a bit of a a fan get together. So if that's happening, and and we happen to be free at the same time, then you know maybe we could bop along too. But time will tell. Uh, Lou Weber says, wait a second, peeps. Nice hoodie. Where is it from? This hoodie? It's from triplejer.mut forward slash shop. You too can get this hoodie, Th this cushion, this mug, this cold, uh, by purchasing one of our fine products. There's also a swimsuit. Just what you need as, as the winter months draw in. Quiet and sane, we miss you and hope you're okay. Huge hugs and love, X. Oh, we do. Thank you, Catherine Expat, for the, the $5.50 there. We do miss quite insane. It's quite insane here or not here? I guess not here. So that's a message for quite insane who might be watching the VOD, right? Possibly. I'm not sure. I've not been keeping up with, with all of the conversations in the chat, but yeah, quite insane, man. Much love. Ranger just doesn't want to buy a cold. Don't do it then. Haven't seen him for a while, says Catherine X, but yeah, yeah. I just wondered if there was a specific reason, but yeah, you're right. Where is quite insane? Uh, so, that's what I'm talking about. Look, this, this level, you enter by going into a a shop or a bank I guess the big bank withdrawal uh, this one you dive into the the, the grate oh there's a really good level I think it's in that bin there this one uh, which I'm looking forward to unlocking I don't know about big bank withdrawal right now. That's a bit of a, a bit of a commitment. I think we'll go to the Stone Age. Devic Captain just subscribed. It was gifted by Wobbly Pants. Well, thank you, Wobbly Pants, and welcome back, Demic Kempton. I love to be at a fan meetup. You guys are so sweet, and it's a lovely community. Yeah, it is. Why have it on the one? Guess he needs a kickstart. Oh, did we not unlock any? Oh, is that the only other level? Okay, well, fine. We'll go do the big bank withdrawal then. Stone Age. Pirate years. 1930s. Oh, okay. I thought I'd unlocked a couple of... Okay, fine. Fine! 
See if I can. I'll do the big bank withdrawal. I don't have a problem with that. Let's get out of here, Muggsy. Muggsy. Okay, oh God, he looks horrible, doesn't he? They're robbing the bank. So there's a guard dog down there, a classic Warner Brothers style. One of those sort of bulldog looking fellas. What we can do, of course, give him one of these. Bone him good. What? And then we press that. Uh, top left, bottom right. Left. Oh, was it this? Oh no! Let's see the way. Yeah, Ben generally likes to stream later in the evenings now. Uh, I've been thinking about it too. Oh, which one? I think it was this way. That one? Yeah. Uh, there were kind of a couple of... Oh, no. Oh, oh. I've kind of been putting it off. Oh, it, it's been put off for me uh, based on... So the first idea... The, the idea first came up while... I had one episode of Harry Potter left to do, and I thought, well, I'm not going to change the time for a game that I'm about to do the finale of, because some people might want to watch that live who, you know, can watch at the time that I've usually been playing it, but not the new time. So I didn't do it then. Then after that, I ended up doing Rugrats, and I couldn't stream late on Rugrats Day because I think I had to be somewhere that evening. Uh, then today... I was like, now's the chance. Now I can, I'm starting a new game. I could do a late stream. But because I stayed really late on Friday to finish Worst Games Ever, uh, I had the morning off this morning. Uh, and so I didn't want to... If I was going to stay late to stream in the evening, I would have come in an extra two hours late so I could stay two hours later to stream. So I wouldn't have been in until... Like, I had the morning off, and then two more hours off that. I wouldn't have been coming into the office until, like, 3 p.m. So... It seemed a bit strange to not come into work until mid-afternoon. Looks he's tired. Oh, nice! Kicked oh, throw it! Jesus! So here's another one, look, you can, oh my god, the sh camera shake. You can walk him into a safe. That's great, isn't it? So I think I have to like blow up. Yeah. At least this side as well, just for safety. Okay. And now what? Put the door open or Put this door open? No? I don't know. I'll see. But anyway, yeah, I'm I'm thinking of maybe doing late streams once it's just a convenient time for me to start. Like now that I've started this game, I kind of feel like it's just better if I'm doing, you know, a series like this. It's better to stream the episodes at the same time every week. So it'll probably be now 
when I start the next game, you know, whenever that is. Oh no! I fell through the floor! Oh no! Oh god, I hope it kills him. Oh no, I can't throw this. I'm just falling. Bugs! Oh, F in the chat for Bugs Bunny, everyone. I'm gonna have to quit the level, I guess. Okay, well that was that was a shame. I shouldn't have stood on that. Shouldn't that stood on that safe as it fell. I can't drop the box because I was in the air. It thought I was falling. Good. Good, but you left some stuff behind you. Yeah, I know I did. I had to leave the level early. Got to keep all that stuff though, apparently. That's good to know. You don't have to reach the exit to take take your goodies home. This is how we find new secrets and discoveries in some of our favourite games. Yeah, you're right. Bottom left, top right. Okay, it was this. This. And then, oh no, which way was it? Oh no. Not paying attention. <coughs> Give me a bone. Bone me. There we go. Just seen someone online questioning why Pizza Hut have gone back to using their old logo on Twitter when most of the restaurants with weird roofs no, no longer exist. And they wrote how they miss the shapes of their old restaurants. I love the internet. Okay, I got that one. That was just clockwise. <laughs> Uh, that was a bewit right there. Summer de Barber. Five months since I gave into the allure of you people. Here's to many, many more. Thank you very much for the subscription there. Samuel. Would you like to ride the boat train, Morty? Who's streaming after me? Anyone we know? Who's the Lydia streaming? So I've learned how to raid now, and I feel like we should raid. Right, so let's... Let's mug off Muggsy. Let's not stand on the safes. I can't see, but I'm assuming he's going to walk right in. There he is, yeah. Okay, so he's dead. Uh, I've actually been in... Well, I may as well get the carrots. So now, I think... I guess I'd just stack these boxes and just stay away from those horrible safes that send you into the abyss. I don't know who... Can I throw this at him? No. This isn't going to be enough, though. I'm thinking, like, you know, get up to... get up to the balcony, but... It's not going to happen. Oh, there, it's the key, isn't it? The key's in the middle of the room. Okay, I understand. Uh, now I unlock the door. Sweet. Oh. 
Oh! God. Can't really see these guys until they're already shooting at you, but it's fine. Come on, go again. Oh! He's quick to reload, that fella. Especially being inside a plant pot. Put the lever. And the elevator. Oh, perhaps Putin stayed up for WWE and he got a 9 a.m. start as well. Oh, rip. They can actually break these open. Probably not worth it for the carrot when they probably provide good cover from the, from the gunman. Uh, so, there's a load of TNT that you can get in this this part of the map. Oh, here it is. And you uh, use it to blow these doors open. I just think it was so cool, like so... I felt like such a badass. The way the, the guy like flies out of the door. Oh, I screwed it up there. If it didn't get close enough, it's all right. I'll do it. He sort of flies out in the most dramatic way. He goes like, "Arg!" Oh! some TNT, you fish. Yeah, I heard that uh, people people were really mad about something that happened in WWE last night, right? About the winner of one of the matches. <laughs> Jesus, this guy resets immediately. Right. Let's have our action action moment. Arg. Yeah, that's it. Arg. And he just sort of flies out. There's a very bad ending to P. Sorry that your your WWEs didn't go well last night, everyone. That your your wrestle times were sad times. Okay, I guess that's barred. In here, yes. Oh, there's a there's a whole bookcase in the way. <coughs> Look like he noticed the TNT and shut the door. I don't think they've accounted for that, but it looked pretty convincing. Oh no, open the. Don't close on me.
Is that it? Or is there one more guy? I've got one, two, three. Speed strats is to roll everywhere. Not only does it make you go faster, but it's also actually an offensive maneuver. I'm gonna blow that off, I guess. <laughs> that there's some push marks on this ah there we go see gotta be aware of your surroundings ladies and gents oh hello yikes just kick him TNT I suppose <laughs> period 7 it's almost 5 already the community demands another hour do I sound like the, a man who's capable of giving you another hour? I'm becoming more and more blocked by the by the minute. But I appreciate that you're enjoying the content. All he is. All of y'all. Exit. I'm not demanding another hour. But it'd be nice, question mark. Oh, I'd love to do another hour. But I've got work to do, unfortunately. I've got boring stuff like voiceovers to record. Sorry. Twenty-four carat gold. Get it? Oops. Great. So I think Yeah. I think this needs weighing down, so when you take the clock, it now no longer is weighed down, which is a nice touch. But of course, the obvious thing to do is to drop the Comic Sans gold on it. Oh, I can't sneak with the with the hammer. Uh-oh. That's not how it works. Okay, well, I may as well take it then. Great. Try the hammer. Got him. Oh, no, I didn't got him. I put the hammer away as well because I thought I'd done it. Will he get tired? He's He's fairly large. Chase me. Get tired. Will you get tired? No, you just sort of stop. Hello? Okay, three hits. That's what we want. TP, I want to ask you about your voiceover work. How did you get into it and what advice would you give someone who wants to do voiceover work? Asking for a friend. Uh, <clears throat> really, it's just uh, it happened to me by chance. Really, like I, I uh, was already just you know making a couple of videos on my channel, but that's not what you consider you know professional voiceover work or anything like that. But then I, uh, I got the job at What Culture as what I thought was going to be a. A video editor. I already done some writing for them, and I thought maybe they would want me to write as well, possibly. Uh, but then they said, "Oh, like you know, you've you've done some actual video content. Would you be up for you know doing oh doing some uh, some some stuff for us too, some presenting?" So really, that's just how it happened. They just uh, 
They just asked me if I would. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit confused about this puzzle. Uh, if I would do some some voice acting for them, some just some you know some voiceover for them, I should say. And I said, yeah, sure. Uh, and since then, I've just it's become part of my job in uh, you know the the few places I've worked since then as well. All those people have wanted me to you know I do lists here and I do uh, you know we did stuff at at Vidiots as well. How do I get this door? I need the key for this door. But how do I open? Oh, with the hammer. Surely. Yeah. <laughs> so really, um, yeah, I, I guess I would just say it's just something you got to keep doing, and I think it's important to. So yeah, I, in the same way that you know people ask us advice about how to get into YouTube in general, what we always say is, oh, you know, you got to enjoy it blah blah blah, all those sorts of things, do it as a hobby first, don't ever expect, or not don't ever, but don't expect to make money from it until, you know, later on. Um, and I would just say the same for voice work in general, is, you know, put together some, some video content or even just audio content, where you're using your voice in the way that you'd like to, you know, the kind of voice that you'd like to do, whether it's actual voice acting, like doing character work, or if it's just narrating, and uh, it's just important to listen back to yourself and listen to other people and think, you know, how does this how does this stack up? Because what I was t saying earlier when I was talking about oh hello Muggsy, um, about how I'm not so keen on my older uh, Super Duck stuff is because oh I thought I was gonna uh, you know. I think I've I've learned how to be a better presenter now, voice-wise. I think sometimes I, I ham it up a bit and I go a bit overly shouty and cynical in my lists. Like, some of my more recent lists I've listened back to and I've been like, oh, God, come on. You can do better than that. But generally speaking, you develop a tone and a bit of a persona and a, just a voice and uh, it's that, that whole thing, really. You just got to... Gotta work these things out. You know, practice, practice. Oh! Okay. We've activated stage two. What about hiring you for voice work through your website? Yeah, I've got a I've got a website where you can um, you can get little personalised messages from me for, for people. It's, I always think it sounds really pretentious that I even offer that as a service, but it's because people sometimes get in touch with Ben and I asking for messages, so that's why we offer it. You know, it's not just one day I woke up and thought, you know what people would really like is if they could get my voice and pay for it. But it's just a, it's just a little sideline we have. It just you know it's it's Domino's money or you know. I mean, I'm trying to say the, my, the, my pinned tweet at the moment is a link to my my voice. Uh, website and it says I'm trying to pay for a wedding which kind of is what it is for like any bonus that I get right now just goes straight into the wedding fund um, and really like Ben and I both do like very reasonable what we think is pretty reasonably priced stuff Jesus oh my god let me I'm just... my god the knockback and the zero invincibility frames help um but yeah, we do, uh, you know, it, it depends on the size of the project and stuff, but like, it starts from as little as like 10, 10 ish pounds, 15, 10, 10 pounds really. Uh, for, you know, like a little short thing where we might just like wish, wish someone happy birthday or congratulations or, or you know, will you marry me? <laughs> If it's a short message, just a couple of sentences or whatever, then we'll do stuff like as long as you like, really. You know, we I would I'd, I'd read 
read a massive script if that's what you wanted from me, but it's all, you know, the, the costing is all like relative to the size of the project. But yeah, if you want Ben and I, and or, you know, like together or separately to uh, record messages for you, if you can just get in touch with us by uh, either my pinned tweet, which is where you can get me to say stuff like, legalize sex work. Uh, or, you know, birthday greetings and things like that. Um, yeah, I've got a pinned tweet, and I think Ben doesn't necessarily have it in his pinned tweet at the moment. He might do, but if not, it's certainly in his bio, I think. His Twitter bio. But yeah, my my web website is... I, th I think it's <laughs> thatpeteraustin.co.uk. I've never had to say it out loud before and I've forgotten, but I think that's what it is. thatpeteraustin.co.uk. So we do things like um, podcast intros and stuff like that. But I shouldn't really be touting for business, like independent business on on a triple jump stream. But anyway, someone did ask, so that's what we do. We'll do greetings for your podcasts and YouTube channels and stuff, and yeah, little little intros. I just unmuted the stream, and Peter said, "Sex work." Yeah, that's me. Okay, nearly done. Hey, Muggsy, wake up! Hey! Hey! Sorry, boss! I might pay you to say my name is Peter and I am small and so is my schlong. I'd probably... I'd probably say that for... for money. I'd... I'd sell out my dignity for that. Good, but you left some stuff behind Oh no, I left some stuff behind me. How much would it cost to replace my own voice with yours for the next 35 years, peeps? Let me save your position. Oh, that's, that's hefty. It's a hefty one. It's like uh, singing in the rain, isn't it? That's what happens in that. Bye. It's not her whole voice, Goodbye, but... Moyle. Peeps, would you ever do a voiceover for... A docu-series about airports in Britain and the day-to-day goings-on there. What do you mean, like, like airline? Yeah, I'd be up for that. Definitely. My dad works in the aviation business. He's not a pilot. Everyone always thinks he's a pilot when I say that. I'm like, oh, my dad works for an airline. Like, oh, he's a pilot. No, he's not a pilot. He's also not cabin crew. Uh, he's neither of those two things. But, yeah. Anyway, there you go. You can get my voice or Ben's voice for like a tenner. Starting price for like, you know, a line or two. Or more for more. If that's what you want. Oh wait, yeah. You climbed this lamppost as well. It's all context. Look at that. That's great, that, isn't it? Greatest escape. Oh, this is the one. Oh no, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. It's called Objects in the Mirror are closer than they appear. Uh, okay, well, great. We've just saved it, so I think we're good. I'll do a emulator save state as well. Did that work? Yes, it did. Okay, good. Hundred dollars per word. Yeah, that's it. No, absolutely not. Can I pay you to stop saying series because it sets off by Siri? <laughs> Sorry, RH Rose. Uh, we'll try. Is he a plane? <laughs> you got it, Sim Zeppelin. My dad is a plane. He is. Oh, I'm a stuffy boy. Right, well. Oh, there you go. There's Ben's. BenPotterVO.wordpress.com and mine is that Peter Austin uk. Shoot us an email if that's if that's what you want. It's good. We normally do a bit of a push for it around Christmas time as well because people, like fans, like to send messages to each other and stuff. Uh, 
We do stuff on video as well, like that's probably cost a little bit more, but anyway, I'm not, I don't think I should be, should be touting for business when it's an, an outside of triple jump thing, but there you go. Uh, good. Um, very good, thank you very much. I hope you all enjoyed this stream. I really liked it, it was nice to be playing this game again. Hell yeah, loved it. I'll be back next Monday. 3 p.m. BST, where I will be breathing a bit more clearly. Whew, that'll be nice. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Do your best nasal Adam Pacitti. You love it, 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 you love it. That's him. I am Adam Pacitti, your uh, cultaholic champion. I don't know what they say. I don't watch enough of their stuff. Uh, thank you all for joining me, and uh, see you all soon. Ben, I'll be streaming tomorrow. I don't know what time. We'll both be streaming on Thursday. Ciao. Ciao. That's the end. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Join us. That's what he says. Join us. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>